calls for justice and accountability for John V. Kundula. No, it's a regular person. Yeah, just write a check. After this body camera video of Seattle just police officer Daniel Otterer <laughs> was released Monday. $11,000. She was 26 anyway. She had limited value. That body cam video captures Officer Otterer, vice president of the Seattle Police Officers Guild, reportedly on a call with union president Mike Solon, referring to the 23-year-old grad student that was hit and killed by another officer squad car while responding to a call. Damn, Community groups, including Alliance Against Racist and Political Oppression, calling for the officer to be off the force. We didn't know about this until eight months later. They haven't been fired. They're still the vice president and president of the Seattle Police Officers Guild. Why do we want justice? It's, it's disgusting. It's not okay. Okay, I'm going to move this pin in a circle. I'm going to move it towards your New body camera footage obtained by King 5 shows Officer Otterer performing an impairment test on the officer that hit and killed Condula after the crash and before making crass and insensitive comments. Tilt your head back and stretch your eyes, please. The officer that hit and killed Condula has now been criminally charged. If the people that are in charge of enforcing the rules are not made accountable when they break them, the system is failing. A community outraged and those calling for action marched their anger to the police precinct, calling for change.